Good evening and welcome to Life Around the Koi Pond. My husband's got me to do this tonight. I don't really want to, but he's like, you have a go, Andrea. So, here goes. Today, um, my husband's been cutting wood and he's decided to clad the pond. And I'm going to be the decorator, because I'm good at that. Um, so I'm going to be filling all the holes in, making it look really pretty. I might go like an emerald green or something like that. We'll see. Um, I want to talk about the mistakes we've made um, over these last two years. When we first um, dug a pond, it was over there where my husband sat. That's where it was. It was... <laughs> It was 8 v 8 and um, we didn't dig down and we, we didn't know anything about pond cycling or bad, bad, bad bacteria or good bacteria. We knew nothing at all. Um, so we dug a pond, put some goldfish in it and fill, you know, filled it up. Oh, we put white gravel in it. Oh, it looked pretty. Uh, then we started getting problems. We bought a pressure filter. Um, that was our first mistake for us because the pond was 7,000 litres. The pressure filter said it was for 10,000 litres. But what it didn't tell you was it meant 10,000 litres with no fish. Now, with goldfish, you have that. So we had a few goldfish. Um, we halved it, so that would mean it was capable of filtering 5,000 litres. But what they didn't tell you also, if you have koi, you half it again. Um, so really, we were filtering a 7,000 litre pond with a 2,500 litre pressure filter. So no wonder we got problems. Um, we put too many fish in at once. I think we put about, oh, maybe eight, eight fish in straight away. Um, a shabumpkin, a few goldfish and you know no sooner we got new pond syndrome not very long after so we were fighting we were fighting that we, with our little filter that was doing no good we had fish deaths we had worries um, then we started doing our research properly um, so we dug down on that pond, that 8 the 8 pond, because we read that, uh, you know, koi liked a bit of depth. So we dug down, so we had a deep, we had a, an 8 the 8 pond that was about four foot deep. And um, there was a little area that was about five foot. But still, so we got some small koi um, and we put them in the pond. And still, we bought another pressure filter because we actually thought that's the only thing that existed. You know, we couldn't afford the big fancy filters that we, we saw that people had. So our only option, we thought, was a couple of pressure filters then to equal out the amount of water that was in the pond. That didn't work. Um, it was too mechanical. There's no biological, um, you know, filtration in pressure filters, hardly. We're making mistakes of washing them out with hose pipes every week. Getting rid of whatever biological filtration we'd um, managed to accumulate in there. Well, we soon got rid of it with the hose pipe. No wonder we were having problems. So, after that, we thought, right, we're going to do our research properly. Uh, we asked lots of professional advice. We asked our local um, aquatic centres for advice on, on filtration and bacteria. And we learnt about the cycling of the pond. Um, so, you know, fast forward six months, we we decided we needed to build, build a bigger pond. So we did. We built a 13 foot by eight foot. Five and a half foot deep at one end. Three and a half foot deep at the other, I think it is. Or, or maybe four. I'm not sure. Um, but 
in this pond is 12,500 litres um, of water and we bought second hand filters. We bought a second hand easy pod and we bought second hand vortexes which I'm sure you've seen because I'm sure I've showed you them before and my husband showed you them. They're brilliant. They're old school, they're massive and they do an amazing job. Um, you know, they they once upon a time filtered a lake, those, those actual uh, vortex chambers. Um, so yeah, I'm well chuffed with those. Um, obviously Jamie's told you that we've got a little bog garden going on. So we've got loads of filtration. So we're chuffed about that. We don't have any problems with water parameters. And that's simply because of the filtration. Um, but I'll tell you something we have made a mistake with. Um, our fault, we bought George and Mildred a year or so ago. And we didn't quarantine them. We got them from a house that was closing down a, a pond. And they were lovely fish, obviously. And they were a bit of a bargain price. So we brought them home. And we put them in the pond. And we introduced fluke because of it. So we've we've learnt the hard way and we've suffered for it. Now um we trip for fluke. We did we did a scrape on the fish obviously and we found we found fluke. So we we trip for it. We looked for the best treatment. Now we couldn't have anything really strong because we've got a little old shibunkin in here um, and we've got grass car. So you know, some treatments are for koi only. You know, the ones with plus at the end and pro at the end. Well, we chose um, the fluke treatment. Just, you know, that was for various types of fish. So we put it in and we thought, right, we won't clean our filters, obviously. We don't want to be diluting the water. Seven days passed. Now, you've got to have this treatment in. Three weeks it stays active in your water. Um, so, the, the fish stop flashing, but obviously you've got to catch the egg cycle of the fluke. Um, and the first dose doesn't very often do that. Anyway, seven days later, we had to clean those filters. They were filthy. We had weed in the pond, we had an algae spare, we didn't have the um, canopy up at the time. So, so there was green weed stuck in the filters. We had to clean it. We had no choice. So as we clean our big filters, the pond drops massively. So we topped it up. We thought, well, it's been seven days. It won't matter that we're diluting it a little bit. It'll still be active and it'll still be killing any eggs that are hatching or any live, live births of these parasites. Anyway... Um, we what what we didn't realise we dechlorinated the water with with prime, um, because we think that's good, you know. And if there's ever a little ammonia spike in your pond, and that you know that will sort of sort it out if ever there was. So we like prime. We put it in. The fish started flashing again a week later. We bought another um, dose of the um, parasite treatment. Did it again another seven days thinking we just didn't catch the egg cycle to cut a long story short three treatments later we still haven't got rid of this fluke we hadn't we were tearing our hair out we didn't know what to do i rung a fluke solve lady um, and she told me i shouldn't be using prime firstly i shouldn't be washing um cleaning my filters really which we know that but like i say i had to um so, but I certainly shouldn't have been adding prime. It's an ammonia binder. Um, any ammonia binding stuff will take the active ingredient, praziquental, out of any fluke treatment. She, I didn't know, know, you know, at all. Well, I know now, £120 later of putting fluke, putting fluke solve treatment in a pond over a, a length of time um, didn't work. Anyway, just don't make that mistake, anybody, like we did. But now we have got rid of the fluke because we, we did leave our filters 
for the length of time because we got rid of the algae. So we could. So yeah, plenty of mistakes. We're still making them. Every day. Um, but learning. And we do take advice. Um, we love advice. We love people's opinions. Um, you know, different opinions. We don't salt our pond. Loads of people do. We've ummed and ahed about that. We've decided not to do it. But, you know, don't mean it's wrong. Don't mean that it's right. You know, each to their own. But, like I say, we're, we're learning. All I know is we love our fish and we look after them to the best of our ability. You know, like I do all my pets um, and my kids and my husband. I look after them all. So, that's the main thing about earning a koi pond. The love of your fish. You know, you go to the ends of the earth to keep them in good health. That's what you've just got to do. Even if you don't know how, you found out. So, that's it really. So, I'll go now. And um, I hope this video is a little bit of a change from, from Jamie talking. Maybe I babble on a little bit more. I don't know. But, I'll see you later. Bye.